Hey there everyone, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, you might not know that I'm a big fan of Milwaukee Tool. I'm also a big fan of their Shockwave line of drill and driver bits. From drill bits to driver bits to different magnetic sleeves, nut drivers, right angle attachments. They have thin wall sockets. They have all kinds of solutions. Well, here's the deal. Although I've been a big fan of Shockwave, there was one major flaw to using part of the system and it looks like Milwaukee Tool has finally solved the problem and it has me so fired up and I know it's going to have you fired up right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Want to help out with the channel? Head on over to our merch store. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. Years ago, Milwaukee Tool came down to our offices here on the Camden waterfront in beautiful Camden, New Jersey to launch to us their new Matrix Carbide line of driver bits. I will say, for a bunch of contractors and tradespeople that were driving low, a ton of, like thousands and tens of thousands of low load fasteners very rapidly, these were great. People, people still ask if they can buy these someplace, but the problem was is that when you started driving higher load fasteners, it didn't necessarily always work out for the best. But if you're not failing, you're probably not trying hard enough. You're just keeping it safe, playing it safe. Milwaukee Tool, they don't always do that. They stretch the boundaries, try to create new solutions for tradespeople. In most cases, what I'm trying to accomplish in my work, I'm not reaching for my drill anymore. I'm just not. I'm going for a, an impact driver, a compact impact driver, and the beauty of this is we could go from drilling to driving almost instantaneously. We don't need to loosen a chuck, tighten a chuck. They've accomplished so much with Shockwave and making everything accessible and usable for an impact driver user like myself. You gotta love it. Except for when we circle around to these longer bits. This magnetizes your one inch driver bits. They have longer six inch quarter by quarter magnetic guides or drives. That magnetic tip will magnetize your one inch bits for longer reach. Problem with this is, is that it's a little fat here around the midway, right? It's got a little, it's got a little bit too much junk in the trunk here in the middle, right? So you might not be able to fit it everywhere you want to. It's not necessarily uncommon to have a tight space that you can't reach. Enter these longer driver bits. And these are great. They're very slender here in the middle. If there was a small hole that you're trying to fit through, right? You're trying to fit through that small hole this very thin area, I mean, this is great to get in there, loosen and tighten. And I know what you're probably thinking because we're tying this all together, that do these longer driver bits have a problem with breaking or snapping? And I say, no, I've not had a problem with these. These are designed with a specific metallurgy to allow for long life, but also enough twisting that you're going to get some deflection in the bit before you're actually going to snap the bit head or the bit itself. Now, are there outlying situations where you could actually snap these? Sure, of course. Are you gonna wear down the head? Yeah, over time. What I'm saying is, is that it had a problem. Milwaukee Tool has finally solved the problem and we found the solution when we were walking through the Home Depot, browsing the Home Depot during our Saturday night live stream with the very cool gang where we go over and find the best tool deals. So you save money, I save money too because I need to get this stuff and, and use it on the job site, right? This is their magnetic attachment bit set. Yes, once again, magnetism solves the problem of common man. Watch this as we drive this. I mean, there's literally no cam out in that, in that fastener, but that was the problem. You just saw it there. As we go to drive our fasteners, 
we're losing our screw. And that turns this into a two-handed operation. Now I need to hold my fastener as I place it to be driven. Not everything I'm working on is down right here in front of me. A lot of times it's out here or up there. I don't know about you, but you start moving around. One of the solutions over the years proposed to us by the very cool gang was, why don't you take your longer bits and run them over a magnetizer? And we have done that in this video here. The problem is, is that it's not a really great solution, especially when it comes to impact drivers, because as you use this driver bit in an impact driver, that pounding motion, that pounding motion from the impact driver actually unaligns those atoms, molecules, particles, and demagnetizes it. So that would mean you're spending, I don't know, half your day remagnetizing your bit. You need something that's a permanent magnet to magnetize this bit. My major concern for this is, will it work with all of my existing bits? I mean, this is generation two of Shockwave. Will this work with generation one if I, you know, I have a whole bunch of them? Will it work with the long bits? Does it work with the short bits? I know it won't work with one inch bits, but let's get it open and find out. You stick the bit through and it's almost like it's, it's clamping around the bit itself. And you look in there, and there's ridges inside there that grip over the bit. You could also see on the back side the magnets along the edges. These are the bits that came with the silicon ring. This is one that came from my kit. Let's see if it will fit on there. And sure enough, it does. Looks good. Look at that. So the bit isn't even in the screw. It's actually holding on the tip of the screw, on the, on the, on the driver bit. Wow. And that, that thing is on there. Whoa! I'm liking it so far. Here's the best part about this silicon ring. We're not stuck with it or a special magnetizer for these bits per se. We can use it for any of these two inch driver bits. Now we'll be able to use our wood screws. You're able to take this silicon ring and put it on all of your driving solutions. So now we have a three inch bit that's now magnetized. Our six inch bit. Is now magnetized and the reality is is that not everyone's work is down and in front of them. It's, it's out here to the side, or it could be up here or up here in the ceiling. This is going to keep your fastener where you need it, on the end of your driver bit. Now that it's somewhat magnetized from the permanent magnet that's in this accessory, let's just say you did need to reach into somewhere that was very tight. It's magnetized that bit, you're able to drive one or two fasteners without losing the magnetism. And then when you're able to, you throw your magnetizer back on to keep your full magnetism. It keeps your screws where they need to be at the end of your driver bit. And if you like, when your screws are on the end of your driver bit, so you can put them in the medium that you need to set your screw in, then smash the like button. Cause it's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime and you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, leave it down below. What have you been using for this type of solution? Have you been using a magnetizer? Have you been using another brand? 
of driver bits? We want to know. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. I hope to see you all on this next video. It's going to be more Milwaukee Tool. It's coming right up after this. You're going to love it.